For the Deer Isle Stonington Elementary School, it has not been an easy road to the first day of school. It's been stressful, you know, because what we want the most around here is what's best for our kids, and having a full staff is what's best for our kids. After the principal and curriculum coordinator resigned just weeks before the start of school, the superintendent of School Union 76 said they had to spring into action. It's just been a huge amount of effort, but we've actually seen the payoff as a result. According to Ross, in a short amount of time, they have managed to fill all the remaining open positions. It's very hard, especially in special education, to find uh, certified teachers. Um, there's a huge need out there right now. The former principal of the Brooklyn School will be assuming the role of interim principal here. We've spent a lot of time together, adults problem solving and trying to get everything perfect so that it'll run smoothly when the children arrive. But now it's time for the kids to be here because they changed the energy of the building they remind us of why we're all here. Members of the staff say there's been a significant amount of turnover. And I know we're not alone. You know, these problems go throughout Maine and, and throughout the country with teacher shortages, so. Teachers that have been working on the island say the area presents its own unique challenges when it comes to hiring and staffing. Yeah, we've got our own unique uh, situation going on here with the rural setting. The superintendent also cites travel and cost of living concerns in the area, something he is working closely with the town and state officials to address. The goal is to just really make sure that we're reconnecting teachers with kids and, and kind of rekindle <laughs> the reasons why people got into, into education in the first place. Students will return to class on Wednesday. In Deer Isle, Grace Blanchard, ABC 7 and Fox 22 News.